All right, seat belts. This is what came with the car. Uh, these two guys. So this one was seized, but I managed I managed to unseize it somewhat. The only problem is it's missing this guide or whatever that is called. I don't know how it is possible, but it's missing it. And this one is totally seized. I don't know what's wrong with it. Try to make it work, but it, it, it doesn't even look nice. So I think this one we cannot use. And it wasn't working for a long time because somebody replaced it with just a lap seat belt. So anyways, we're not gonna use that. found from our limousines two of these they came out of some of our builds these are tricky though mm -hmm. they need to be no, somewhere close to metal inside. I think they have a magnet inside so when they are close to metal this is when they release and of course they have to be vertical so sometimes I can make them release sometimes I can't Yeah. So anyways, we we'll have to use these ones, but they don't have the covers as they were inside a B-post covered by plastic outside B-post covers in probably Escalade or uh, Hammer or I don't know what kind of a vehicle. Anyways, but I think we can use those. We just need this and this one to be transferred here. We can use this guide. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. And this one, we can steal this as well. And this part. Yeah, from this one, this part, right? Yeah, so we have all the parts. Yes. As far as these are concerned, these are both broken. One is broken here, the other one is completely missing. But we have the same one from the 74. So I think this is what we're going to use. They even have the wiring here and everything. But like I said before, we're not going to use them. I just need to clean them and we're going to install them. So I cut the old seat belts and I took out all the fasteners and guides and everything and I installed them on the new seat belts. And believe me, I know what I'm doing here. I know it's a safety uh, concern, but we are certified limousine builder after all. So please don't try this at home using your uh, wife's domestic machine and just regular threads. Then I poke the holes through the leather for the mounting bolts and I install the seat belts. So the only thing that's missing now is a cover to cover the retainers but we will have to fabricate something because these seat belts never had covers. Uh, I think I'm gonna fabricate something out of uh, sheet metal, a really nice shape and we're gonna wrap it in uh, the same leather or in vinyl. We will see what we're gonna do but for now we're just gonna have seat belts for safety.
So probably you've noticed that we're missing the grommets here for the backrests and that's because we're missing the grommets, you know. <laughs> so we ordered grommets and when they come we're gonna poke the holes here, we're gonna install them, we're gonna install these and I also ordered uh, those guides for the seat belts that we are gonna hold them here like that. So then when I need to, when I release it, it probably is gonna go home on its own, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> Yeah, there's too much friction here, I guess. Because look, when I have it all the way here, yeah, it goes hard, but yeah, too much friction. Next I decided to take the rear suspension apart and check why the heck the car is sitting so high. Ralph Cup keeps telling me about that and I agree the car is very high so, so let's see what's uh, the situation there. Alright, so this is what I found inside. This is the spring and there was a spacer underneath which is only, what, maybe half an inch? But why would it be there? Yeah. And uh, Ralph Cup told me in a comment, thank you so much Ralph for your help all the time. So you told me it was supposed to be 11 and a half, and that's exactly what it is, 11 and a half. So I don't really know why the car is sitting so high. The um, brackets, let me show you the brackets too. Here are the brackets, and I believe they are in the right orientation, because if they were the other way around they would be even higher. So, this is the other one, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, they are in the lower position, so, so here everything is okay, here everything is okay, so what's the problem? I'm not really sure this is the rubber that goes inside, so for sure I'm not going to put the spacer, but how, how much does it add? It adds like half an inch, we're, we're looking here into maybe two inches. So, yeah, now it's 12. So, anyways, I'm gonna take the spacer out, but what I noticed now, I took the spring from the 7040R6, and that's the one, and the height is exactly the same, but, do you notice here? Here I have a lot less coils than here, and I'm not sure which one is. And unfortunately, this is where I'm missing uh, some video files, I don't know what I did again, but I'm just missing them. But basically what I did was I decided to use the 74 springs because uh, even though they have more coils, it looked like they are softer than the 73 springs. So I decided to use this one on uh, the left side and check how high the car is. And then if everything was okay, I would change the other one as well. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see how low is it going to go if it's gonna go any lower at all and yes I am stupid I was supposed to measure before and after but the other side is still not done so I can measure from the other side and compare to this one but let's drop it and we will see well that's not much lower but <laughs> I think it is what it is let me measure, let me compare both sides. So the other side is 28 and a half to the wheel watch. And this one is 28. So not much difference, not big difference from the screen. The only difference is from the spacer that I took out half inch. Mm. Well, it is what it is. Well, it is what it is. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna take the spacer out and I'm gonna change the spring too since uh, I don't want to have two different springs on the two sides. But it looks like uh, both springs are exactly the same, even though they have different amount of coils. But whatever, half an inch lower, that's it. 
Alright guys, even though it is gonna be a short video, I'm gonna cut it here because after that I started working on the top and I want to have a separate video for the top or maybe two videos, I don't know how long it is gonna take but at least uh, I want them to be just a separate item like a separate subject so uh, I'll see you in my next video, thanks for watching, bye!